For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that basic Linux interview questions and answers. So this is a written test. Uh, one of the L1 engineer attended the inter recent uh, interview. So he got um, a question paper from him uh, from the company that this is the written test uh, they given to him. So uh, I just frame those questions uh, and uh, multiple choices over here. Uh, you can see these questions and answer uh, from yourself. So end of the uh, session, I will provide you with the question and answers. What are uh, what are the exact answers you have to look up? So let's see this. What are those? Uh like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, questions over here. So the first question is: What type of files are typically in slash etc directory? So the the first option A is configuration files. Second option B is miscellaneous files. The third one is standard Linux commands. So the question is: What type of files are typically in slash etc directory? So the second one is what command list file permissions so what is the command is used to list the file permissions the first command is ch mode second com command is ls l the third command is perms so these are the three options out of it you have to select uh, one the next question is when using the vi editor which of the following is true the first option in command mode the typical the capital letter o opens a line below the current line placing u in insert mode the second option in command mode the lower case a places u in insert mode appending after the cursor the third option is in command mode dd4 deletes four lines okay out of which of the option is true whenever you open the vi editor which of the following statement is true the question number four is what will the following command do ls hyphen l one and uh, redirecting it to the first one is display a joint long listing of file called one and a file called two. Take a long listing of a file called one, save the output into the file called two. Report an error message as this is an a purely constructed command. So basically you have to create the two files and try this out on the command line so that you can find out the exact answer the question number five what would you include on the command line to start a program running in background so whenever you wanted to run a program so I want to run the program in a background so what is the um, what in, you have to include in the command line so and sign uh, exclamatory mark iPhone B option the question number six is the command find slash etc iPhone -E name password P A S S D -D -D, what above command will do so find all files in slash etc that do not have the name password second one is locate all the files in slash etc named password find any files in slash etc that contain the word password so out of these three options you have to pick one the question number seven is 
after issuing ls ld sum file 1 the result output as follows so the result over here you can see that that is in a command output whenever you type ls ld sum file so you, you can see that there is a command the output of that one what can determine with respect to some file so uh, what is the com it determines so the user users can execute some file and some file is a directory some file is 1024 kb in size so out of these three options you have to pick one the correct one so think about the command output so you will get it right there so the question number eight is which of the following will allow you to log into another computer using an a encrypted tunnel so repeat the question which of the following will allow you to log into remote computer using an a encrypted tunnel so the option here it is telnet the second option is ssh and the third option is r login so which of this you have to choose one so these three commands are used to log into the remote machine but which one uses then a very secure connection to remote machine so that's what you have to select out of these three options the question number nine is how to shut down a linux system from command line this is very very simple uh, the question number the option is alt the second option is stop now third option is power off the question number 10 is one advantage of odd links over symbolic links is so you have to find out the advantage of the odd link over a soft link or symbolic link so a hard link can span different file system a hard link does not become disconnected from the underlining file in the file is moved if the file is moved the third one is you can determine the inode used by a hard link but not a symbolic link fourth one hard link allows you to change the permissions on the underlining file so you have to choose the exact answer from it so repeatedly uh, read the answers so that you will get it the answer over there so the next question 11 is how to remove user from group so this is in a most asked the interview question so the first option is g password iphone d username and group name option b is user mode iphone d username group name option c is user mode iphone a capital g group name username so you have to choose the correct answer and practice it and you will get it uh, the question number two to well uh, in the following shell script how many times will the date command run in the following shell script how many times will the date command run so there is a uh, shell script which is in a for loop for i in 0 1 do echo date done so this is the a simple for loop so you can just run that for loop and you will get it the answer over there and guess it uh, the option A is 0, option B is 1, option C is 2. The question number 13 is to schedule a command to run regularly, which tool would you use? Uh, the tool command AT, the option one, second is cron tab, the option 3 is none of the above. So, which one do you use to run a regularly scheduled command? So, out of this, you have to pick one, the correct one. And the question number 14 is, which Linux command is used to assign privileges to a particular file as a designated user? 
which Linux command is used to assign privileges to a particular file as a designated user. So the option one is change, the option two is ch own and option c is ch group you have to choose the correct one so if you have a little bit of privileges how to assign the ownership for the file you will get it over there so the next one is how to scan for newly assigned lens which means that i have assigned a new LAN from the storage so how you scan for the new LAN? on the linux system with, without rebooting so there are few options the first one is um, doing an ls on the scuzzy host with the while loop and the second one is scan lan iphone iphone new and the third option is sg underscore scan so which command you have to use to get the new lan on the linux system and the question number 16 is what is the default file system in linux so uh, maybe uh, different versions have different um, file systems but overall uh, the new linux systems so what is the default file system you will have so fat ext4 ndfs you have to choose the correct one uh, from here maybe you can find out very easily the question number 17 is how many types of users exist in Linux by default? So there are maybe uh, option number A is three types. One is a root, local users and system users. And uh, option B is two types, super users and normal users. And uh, option C is all users only. All are users only. Okay. and. Uh, the question number 18 is how to remove dot files which means that how to remove hidden files or the how to delete the um, hidden files from the linux the option one is rm iphone r dot star file star semicolon and the option b is rm dir dot files and the C option is rm r star dot files. Okay, choose carefully because if you choose a different one, which will delete all the files on the particular directory. So you have to carefully look up the options over here. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, please comment your uh, answers on the comment box or the look for the description. Um, on the below of the video so that you will get the all the answers uh, answers links over there uh, on the description uh, line thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming interview questions and answers and linux courses and videos thanks again please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask